What's up, gang? Top three best books ever in less than three minutes. Let's go. These are three life-changing books that I've read, or sorry, not read, but listened to. Not once, not twice, but three times or more. Top three books I've listened to three times or more in less than three minutes. Okay, first one, How to Win Friends and Influence People. Horrible title. Doesn't come across that great. Comes across as kind of like sleazy almost, but it's just on how to get along and avoid arguments. Yesterday, for example, I was at the, uh, uh, I was at the grocery store and I always taste test fruit whenever I'm at the grocery store. If there's like a box of blueberries, I'll take a blueberry out, I'll eat it. And if there's a box of cherry tomatoes, I'll take a cherry tomato out, eat it. If there's a grape, I'll take a grape and eat it. Taste test it. If I like it, I'll take the box. If I don't, I put it back. Otherwise, I'm just going to return it anyway. Right? So anyways, yesterday I was there and uh, I grabbed a blueberry. I eat it. No, nah, don't want it, so I don't take the box. Instead, I go grab some, um, some Zevia, can of um, Stevia water. No calories. It's awesome. And I'm on, on my way to checkout, and this guy walks up to me, and he's super angry at me. He starts raging at me. He's got his corona mask on, and he's like, he's like, what the fuck are you doing? We're in the middle of a global pandemic. A global pandemic. How stupid are you? Eating grapes or eating berries and putting them back? That's disgusting. You're going to get everyone sick. He was just raging. And I'm like, okay, first off, when you say global pandemic, like pandemic means worldwide epidemic. You don't need to say global pandemic. It's just like freaking... Anyways, I didn't actually say that. But I was just like, no, I was just taste testing. It's cool, bro. Um, and I was just calm and whatever. I was like, it's, it's all good. I was just taste testing. And he's like, he's like, you can't do that. That's disgusting. Blah, blah, blah. And I just was like, okay, cool. I just I walked away. Didn't want to argue. And the reason I didn't want to argue is because you can never win an argument. You can never win an argument. In fact, the best way to... The, the way to get the most out of an argument is to avoid one. And so if someone's yelling at you, just let them yell and just do your thing. Do your thing, girl. Do your thing. And I got that from um, How to Win Friends and Influence People. I learned so many little tips and tricks from How to Win Friends and Influence People. They still, that book is influencing me still to this day. I'd, I'd be happy to listen to it again. So definitely recommend that one. That book will allow you to get along with almost anyone. Second book is The Astonishing Power of Emotions by Esther Hicks. Fantastic book about how your emotions are like the most important thing on the planet. If your mood sucks, everything sucks and people around you are not benefiting from your mood being low. It talks about how to raise your vibe and how to be in a better mood more consistently. Highly recommend it. She's also author of The Law of Attraction and a bunch of other cool books like that. But The Astonishing Power of Emotions, so powerful. It gets you to really tune in and tap into your emotions and, and optimize them so you're always feeling a lot better. The third and final book is The Compound Effect by Darren Hardy. This book is so sick. It, it just shows you the logic and the long-term thinking that's required to succeed, right? If you're constantly, every day, looking at Instagram and YouTube and you're wondering why your life isn't how you want it to be, and you're just consuming content all the time, it's because you're consuming content all the time. Compound effect will show you how, like, what you did yesterday is going to affect what you do today, and what you do today is going to affect tomorrow. And the, where you're at right now is a result of what's been compounding over the past couple weeks and months and years in your life. So... That book, as soon as I listen to it, I'm like, okay, starting now, I'm going to change things. Because I know years from now, I want those results. And so back when I listened to that book, like maybe it was like eight years ago, I like made a vow to start making positive changes in my life and stick to them. So to this day, I'm reaping the rewards now as of the compound effect. I highly recommend checking it out. It's such an inspirational book. If you read those three books, you will have your life forever changed. You can thank me later. All right. Peace out. Much love. I'm going to keep this under four minutes. So it has a number three on the YouTube thing on the thumbnail. Okay, peace. Ciao.